hello guys uh, this welcome to this uh, tutorial for ssh login from a windows machine so we'll start it so this is the tutorial how to ssh from a windows machine basically sometimes you may have a linux server and you like to work on a windows machine so how do you do this so go to your net and go to the site called mobile extern i'll just show to you how it's done just go to google fast there you go and then type in mobile extern yep it came yeah mobile extern gives you a small demo of how to use the product you just can simply ssh type in your ip your username and then your password and just save it that's all you can log into your uh, uh, linux server so i'll just show you uh, show you where to download it you can just download by clicking here and then just click on this small download icon and then select the mobile extern portable edition once you click on this you will get a zip folder looks like this where is my zip folder once you download just a whole second yep this is the one so once you download that folder you will get this folder uh, this uh, zip folder unzip it and uh, it's back here yep. unzip it you get two files click on the top one mobile extern personal 7.1 double click on it there you go it's wow it's so graphically rich okay it's so better than ssh client or anything else that's the one reason that i want to share this thing. yeah so click on i want to do an ssh click on ssh yep type in my server ip 192.168.9.6 use a specific host name that is root and the default port is 22 for ssh click ok here we go come on come on it's asking for the password i'm typing the password Say password there you go you are into the your Linux machine so it's so easy to do so just have to next time when you have to log into your machine just have to double click it it will open a new tab you don't have to retype the password you have split in view in two terminal wow I can work on this here I can work on here I can split it to four. I can multi-execute the same thing. Wow! I'll just do a PWD from to all the servers. See, one command and it got executed in three windows. I'll exit this thing and a uh, lot of other bunch of stuffs. It's a great thing. Mobile extern is one of the most useful things that I have used. Suppose like if you want to transfer some files from your Windows to your from Windows to your Linux machine or from Linux to Windows, you can use mobile extern. So this this basic thing is this is your Windows machine. I'm just doing a PWD. I am at yep DKS in my user. Wow, I'm working on my Windows machine, it feels like I'm where I am. Yeah, all my Windows files are here. So you can just transfer all everything, whatever you want. You just can just SCP to your next machine I'll get back to you on that 
and you can also if you are in your Linux machine if you want something in your machine you just can just right click it and download delete whatever you can do isn't it amazing yeah and one more thing I just want to share is that suppose like uh, just password got changed so if password got changed what what will happen is that if I double click on it it will mobile term will give the first password which we have saved obviously we, since the password change have occurred it will ask for uh, next time entry of password again and we'll do it so it will override the previous password if you don't want to give uh, want want to avoid this particular situation what i will suggest is that close mobile term just here there you have a particular file in which they store the encrypted password so and the specific configuration so right now i've saved the password for the 192 uh, the particular linux server i was using and suppose like i have changed the password for the linux server and i don't want the mobile term to give a wrong password at the first attempt so what i'll do is that i'll just delete this particular file yep i deleted it now when i reopen it what will happen is that all the previous setting will be deleted so i can create a new session and give the new password so it means that mobile term won't use the previous password which we saved so this is how we can do a ssh or a telnet from a windows machine so you can if you have a windows machine and you want to work in a linux server this is the best way to do so see you guys bye